Hi guys, so today I'm doing a tutorial for this eye look, but I'm also doing my bronzer and blush in the video. It is my very first eye tutorial and I'm really excited and really nervous. Just a disclaimer, I am not a makeup artist. This is just what I do in my everyday life, so please don't judge. Or if you're going to judge, do it in your head. Um, but I would like some feedback, some tips on how to get better. Um, as far as filming the tutorial and just if you have any tips in general, I would appreciate it. It's a really simple look. It's um, only using two eyeshadows from the Lorac Pro Palette, but I talk about some alternatives. And yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it. Hi guys, so I am going to be doing my first um, eye tutorial for you today. I decided to do um, kind of a really simple, I don't have time kind of look. And I already put on my foundation and concealer and did my brows. So I have on, um, for primer, I have the L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base. And I'm almost done, I'm trying to use it all up. Um, and then my foundation, I have Lancome Sainted Ultra 24 Hour Makeup in 420 Bisque. And then for concealer, I have Kat Von D. Lock It Tattoo Concealer in medium 26. And then, what else do I have on? Oh, my brows. What do I have on my brows? I have NYX's Gel Liner and Smudger in um, brown 02. So, um, I'm going to be using the Lorac Pro Palette. I already did this eye. As you can tell, it's like really simple, but it's pulled together. If you see, like my fingers are butterflies. So cute. Anyways, okay. <laughs> um... So I'm using the Lorac Pro Palette because I'm going to go for a matte look, but you could definitely do it with um, NYX's Walking on Eggshells. It's just going to be completely shimmery, um, or you could go with like a naked one or two. So the main colors that I'm going to be using are in the Lorac Pro Palette are, are the only colors that I'm using, um, taupe and cream. Before we get into that though, I'm going to prime my eyelid with the Lorac Behind the Scenes um, eye primer that I really, really love. And in a second when I'm done doing this, I'm going to get you closer to me so you can really see. Uh, I can't wait to see this back and see all the weird faces that I make while I do this video. Alright, so... I didn't finish um, like my bronzer or blush or even under eye concealer on the side or I didn't do brush or um, bronzer over here because I wanted to make sure I could powder everything first and I didn't want to powder when I wasn't done with my concealer. Yeah. Okay, so I like to let it sit for a second but I don't want to sit too long because that is boring and I hate editing. I'm so bad at it. Um, I'm going to take my e.l.f. Professional Blending Eye Brush. This was honestly like a dollar and I really like it. I have other brushes, but I figured, um, you know, I'm going with a little bit of a higher end eyeshadow. I wanted to go with something that was more affordable for the brushes. So I'm going to stick this into the taupe color, which is this like medium brown right here. Um, now, uh, I think like most people would start with the all over lid color, but I'm going to start with the um, kind of the crease color. Because to me, it makes it a lot easier to blend. Alright. It is very weird doing this in a viewfinder. I try to create the shape that I like, which is, I guess, kind of like a wing with the eyeshadow. But I'm going to go, um, I'm going to fix it with a Q-tip and concealer when I'm done. So it's not like, it's not like crucial that it's perfect because you can see like it kind of like is all smudged out in the side. So it's in my crease, it goes from beginning to end of my eye and it doesn't really hit um, my lower lid, but it's gonna be perfect to blend into. Now I'm taking my e.l.f. Professional Eyeshadow Brush. It's kind of a C-shaped brush and I'm going in with cream, which is this one right here hard to focus I'm sorry guys it's just like um a beige color with a bit of a pink undertone 
And then I'm going all over the eye with that. Alright, I'm going to have to look down because it is so hard to do it just in the viewfinder. Is that what you even call that thing a viewfinder? Whatever, the screen that's popped back at me. Now I could use the white if I want it more of a pop, but I'm really going for like a neutral um, look because that way if it's not... You know, if you're rushed and you're not trying to make it absolutely positively perfect, then you don't want too much of a contrast because then you're going to notice that it is not absolutely perfect. Um, my problem is, even if I'm doing, like, something in a rush, I still take forever, and so it doesn't matter that, you know, I'm trying to be quick about it. So that's basically it for eyeshadow. It's not perfect in the corner, but we're going to fix it. And the thing that really, like, you know, perfects it is black liner to me. So I'm using the Jordana Fabu liner in black. And I really, really, really that you, hope that you can see, um, like, how I'm doing this. So I tend to start, like, close to the middle. Um, so that I, like, kind of have a, I guess, a foundation to go with. And I figure I can go smaller and then build. Don't want to get too big because it's hard to keep up with it. And then I go in with my little wing and then connect. Sorry if you can hear that sound in the background. Um, I am in the process of moving, so um, like everything is being taken out of my house right now, and I'm like locked up in my room um, while everyone else does stuff. Okay, so there you go for just the eye. Now to clean up to make sure that it is not all messy in the corner, which honestly, like sometimes I'm sloppy and I don't fix it, which is bad. I'm gonna go in with a Q-tip. I'm gonna go back in with the concealer, and that'll help it even more. I'm gonna go in with a Q-tip and smudge it. I have kind of a dot right there, so it looks like it's shadow, but it's not. It's just like a scar. I wish I could say it's a beauty mark, but it's not. All right, um, I'm taking the Color Cover Girl in OA um, Concealer Balm. Mine is in light medium. Then I'm just making a little triangle with it. If I'm not using my finger, I like to use the, um, I think it's the Real Techniques crease brush because it's perfect, but mine is dirty right now and I don't want to use it. So I'm bringing it up into the angle, that way it cleans up any excess shadow. Now I'm going to go in with my face powder. I'm setting my face with L'Oreal True Match in W4.5 using the Real Techniques powder brush. It's gigantic. And I just tap, tap, tap before I swirl. I feel like I'm doing bare minerals. <laughs> but, um... Okay. I'm going to go in with my mascara. Well, first I'm going to curl my lashes with my Sephora Hot Pink um, Eyelash Curler. I'm going to go in with Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. I really, really, really like this mascara. But I've also really been love-hating, but loving mostly the Jordana. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but the one that like everyone talks about. 
It's pretty good. It's pretty clumpy, but it's pretty good. Um, I'm not going to put on too many coats. I could seriously sit here and put on like 10. And this mascara is, is great about not getting too, too clumpy. Whoa. And then a little clump comes out, of course. All right. And then I'm going to go in and... Um, in my waterline, I'm going to use a flesh-toned eyeliner. Now, my favorite is one of the MAC chromographic pencils, but since those are really hard to find, I'm going to use something that you can get easy, easily. The Scandalized Waterproof Pencil, it's by Rimmel, and it's in... I still have the packaging. It's in Nude. I'm just going to do that in my waterline. Nice and brightening. Now, to be honest, I don't like it as much as my MAC chromographic pencil, but um, in a pinch, it would work. And then on my bottom lashes, I'm using the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. And I'm not going to go too dramatic, but the tendency there's a tendency with the um, nude liner to make the lashes go nude too. And so I just want to kind of bring them back. I didn't realize that you couldn't even see it. <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to finish the rest of my face. I'm going to use the um, MAC uh, Select Sheer Press Pattern NC55. As much as I use it, you would think that I knew the name of it. And then the e.l.f. Blush Brush. I am... Um, fishy Face. Ooh, I put a lot right there. And go around a little bit. And then for blush, I'm using NARS Desire. It's so beautiful. It's coming off kind of purple. It's really more pink. And then a Real Techniques blush brush. And they match. And we're just going to press it in there. And go to the back. Ooh. And on my lips, just so you know, I have Max um, Archie's Girl. Uh, girls lipstick in daddy's little girl it's limited edition but I'm sure that you could find a dupe um, it's the yeah it's one of the Veronica ones there you go okay um, and that is everything um, as you can see it's uh, it brightens up your eyes I love the winged liner but it's really easy to do you only need two colors and anyone can do it if you have any questions please let me know I think next I'm gonna do kind of um, a more fun eye in green I love green eyeshadows um, but it'll still be wearable it won't be anything that's like you know completely ridiculous so thank you guys for watching um, please give me some feedback this is my first time doing a tutorial like this and I'm really nervous but really excited. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!